All right, in this video, we're going to do a problem of a binomial expansion, Pascal's triangle. And specifically, we're about to do problem number 10 right here, which uh, can be a little tricky because it has the 2x in there. Um, but let's practice binomial expansion using Pascal's triangle. All right, um, before we get started on number 10, please remember, uh, I'm just going to cover up number 9 right here. Pay no attention to that. Uh, please remember that you can generate Pascal's triangle uh, on your own anytime you want. You do not need to be given a grid to fill in or anything like that. So let's do that right now. Pascal's triangle always starts off like this uh, with three ones. Um, after that, you look at any two numbers and you add them up and uh, you put that number underneath in the middle. So one plus one is two, so that goes here. Now on the ends are always ones. So once you've added up all the pairs, just close it off with some ones. Um, now on the left I have one plus two, that's three. On the right I have two plus one, that's three. I've done all the pairs so I'll close it off with some ones. And I could keep going, I'll just do one more uh, row here. 1 plus 3 uh, is 4, and then 3 plus 3 is 6, and then 3 plus 1 is 4. And then I'll put some 1's on the end. And I could keep going as far as I want it to. Um, so just remember, because we use Pascal's triangle to help us expand binomials, uh, we can do a binomial raised to any power uh, and these will be the coefficients. You just need to know which row at which to look. So please understand that this top number represents a binomial to the zero power. And uh, then it goes down from there. So this row is going to be a binomial to the first power. And this row is a binomial to the second power. And this row would be a binomial to the third power, and so on. I'm pausing there because our binomial is to the third power. So um, because of that, we know that these should be the coefficients once we expand. OK, so 1, 3, 3, 1. So I like to just start by writing down my coefficients. So uh, space them out as far as you can. 1, 3, 3, 1. Leave plenty of space for the uh, things that we have to multiply and raise to powers and such. OK, we will start with uh, the first term of the binomial 2x. Um, and I would put that in parentheses if I were you, like this. So there's 2x. 2x to the third power, and then we will repeat that 2x with decreasing powers. So um, here we will have 2x squared, and here we will just have 2x. The last term doesn't get any. Um, now, when I first wrote this down, I should have put pluses on all of these. All right, The coefficients always st start off being added. So we've done the first term of the binomial. Now let's do the second term of the binomial, the negative 3. Now the term on the right, you start on the right with it. So we will do negative 3 on the right next to the 1. And it starts off with the degree of the problem, so negative 3 to the third power. And as we go to the left, we will decrease the degree each time. So now I will do negative 3 squared, and then just negative 3 to the first power, or simply negative 3. The last term doesn't get any. OK, so this is the setup of the problem. All we have to do now is correctly simplify it. Now my recommendation to you is to do all your exponents first. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to multiply anything. I'm just going to do the powers. 
Okay, so looking at this first term, I have one, all right, that's my coefficient. Now, two x to the third power. I have to do two to the third power and x to the third power. Two to the third power is eight. And of course, x to the third power is just that, x to the third power. So this should give me eight x to the third power. Okay, next, I have my plus three. Okay, times. And again, when I do this two x, I have to do two squared and x squared. Two squared is four, so I'm gonna have four x squared. Okay, and now I still have this negative three, so I need to do times negative three. Okay, now I'm ready for the next term. The next term starts off plus three, and I just have the two x, it doesn't have a power, so I'm just gonna write times two x. Now, negative three squared. Negative three squared is positive nine, so I'm gonna put times nine, all right? Please watch your signs. If you do an even power, it turns positive. And then, last but not least, whoa, that's orange. I'm gonna have my plus one. Now, negative three to the third power is negative 27. So I'll have times negative 27. If you have a negative number and you raise it to an odd power, it stays negative. Okay, so notice, uh, just to repeat, I like to do all my powers first. So that's what I did um, for this row. Anytime I saw an exponent, I did the exponent. All right, now I do all my multiplication at the end. That's just how I like to do it, my personal preference. Now, I know I'm going to have x to the third power. So 1 times 8 is just 8. So I'm going to just have 8x to the third power. Now here, I'm going to have x squared. Um, but for my coefficient, I need to do 3 times 4 times negative 3. Okay? 3 times 4 is 12 uh, times negative 3 is going to be negative 36. So I'm going to I'm not going to do plus negative 36. I'm just going to do minus 36 and like I said, we have our x squared. And again, you shouldn't need a calculator for this, but just please understand that um, if you're very bad at multiplying in your head, you might want to use a calculator. I would recommend doing all three numbers at once, like 3 times 4 times negative 3. Okay, everything but the x squared. And there's your negative 36 that I got. Okay, so now I'm on this next term. Oh, I guess I'm sticking with purple. So I'm over here. Maybe I'll move it over a bit. So I've got my plus 3. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I've got, I know it's gonna be x, but I've got three times two times nine. All right, three times two is six. All right, so then I've got six times nine, which is 54. So this is gonna give me 54, and it's just x. And over here, I've got one times negative 27, which is negative 27. Now again, don't put plus negative 27, just put minus 27. Okay, all right, this is bothering my OCD, so I'm gonna scoot it over. But that's the answer, guys. Any questions? Just kidding. I know you can't speak to me. All right, okay, so you could speak to me. I just won't hear you because I'm miles away. I hope this video was helpful. Binomial expansion. Thank you, Pascal.